Good morning everybody from a highway in between Bamiyan and Mazar-e Sharif. I left this morning at about 7 a.m. I think it was 6.30 a.m. Assalamualaikum. And we're about five hours into the journey. It's about 11.50 a.m. now. Hopefully, inshallah, we'll arrive in Mazar at about 7 p.m. It takes about 12 hours. But the roads here are pretty awful. I think some of the worst roads I've driven on. So it's taking a long time to veer in and out of the huge Hindu Kush mountains, which are beautiful, but the roads are covered in potholes, huge potholes, which will pretty much swallow half the car. Um, there's been a lot of flooding actually here recently as well. So the roads are really not great. So inshallah, we'll make it there safely. And I can't wait to get to Mazar. I have wanted to go here for such a long time and today is that day, so yeah, inshallah just seven more hours and we'll make it. guys my camera is so dirty <laughs> after driving for about five hours on that really horrible road I'm covered in dust like I have no hair product in and my hair is just so dusty it stands up myself <laughs> but alhamdulillah we made it we're gonna eat and then head back on the road I still think we're about five hours or six hours away from Mazar but inshallah we get there a bit quicker and we get there safely so let's go have a seat so I picked as always the sheet kebab the sheet kebab here in Afghanistan is so good, so juicy and tender. Mm. I love it, it's so good. Also the kabuli pilau is also amazing. Mm. Okay, you guys, good evening. I've just arrived here in Mazar. Alhamdulillah, it's 10, 12 p.m. I just finally ate. We left this morning. I woke up at 6.15 this morning and we've been driving all the, all the time. Finally just arrived, I'm so tired. Uh, the, the bridge, uh, the tunnel incident actually was pretty scary. Um, my driver said that if I was in there, if we were in there for another 15 minutes, we probably would have died because there was no oxygen inside and the traffic situation, they've never seen anything like that before. And I don't want to experience that again, that was horrible. Um, he tried to light his cigarette and the lighter didn't work because there was just no oxygen left in the tunnel to be able to light it. And paired that with the fumes and everything else, it was really, really tough. Um, but I'm here in Mazar and I can't wait to explore tomorrow. Okay, after driving for about 20 minutes from the main city of Mazar, I've made it here to Balkh, which was the first city ever here in Afghanistan. Balkh was also part of the legendary Silk Road, which also runs through Uzbekistan, which is very close to where I am now. The borders of Uzbekistan are pretty close to the north of the city and also the main city of Mazar. When the shrine of Hezrat Ali was built, which is where Mazar city is right now, many people who lived here then moved towards the shrine, which is how Mazar has become what it is now, Afghanistan's fourth largest city with a population of around 590,000 plus. So far, this is what I'm seeing. You can see the old city walls all around here. Many, many years ago before Muslims came, this was where Buddhists were. And there's a few tombs here too. Um, but 
this area of Afghanistan lies within a desert. Before Mazar city was a huge desert, now it's obviously a big city, but the temperatures here so far are the hottest I felt here so far here in Afghanistan. It's in the upper 30s so far right now. I'm not sure how high it's gonna to get today, but hopefully not too much. So we can have a comfortable day exploring what it is very historical and a very complex cultural area of this beautiful country. So before I went back into Mazar city, there's one thing I really wanted to see. And about a five minute drive away from Balkh, which is the first city here in Afghanistan, there is the first mosque of Afghanistan. This is Nagumbad Mosque behind me, dating back to the 9th century, so the 800s. I can't go inside, they've cornered it off for uh, many reasons. One of them obviously is they don't want any more of it to be destroyed. It's kind of worn away over time. It's so beautiful seeing this. You can see so many of the details inside and it's beautiful. One thing I had to check out here in Mazar was the ice cream. I'm here at Toskavan, I think it's called. The ice cream parlor just behind me here in the main area of town and I'm going to see how they make it and also taste it. It's so famous here in the region of Afghanistan. Chalo, let's go. Okay, go to England. All for right. the first time. Vale. Is it good? Guys, I have my ice cream, I picked the pistachio and the cherry flavour. Cherry is in season, I think, here in Afghanistan, so hopefully this will be good. Pistachio is also my favourite flavour. And then alongside the ice cream, they give you this amazing fresh cream, which has big chunks of, I think, curd inside it. So good. Let's try it. Pistachio. Oh yeah, it's really good. Cherry one is the best one. Wow, it's amazing with the cream. So good. Lovely man just paid for my ice cream. Thank you so much. You got, you got married today? Yes, sir. Yesterday, congratulations. Welcome everybody to the beautiful shrine of Hezrat Ali here in the center of Mazar. This was built in 1481 and the entire city is built around this square complex which sits directly in the center of the new city of Mazar. Beautiful here, I just came on the prayer just after sunset and you can see everyone around me just finished praying the entire beautiful complex. Blue, such bl beautiful blue colors. I feel so blessed to be here. Seeing this in person is just phenomenal. And Salaamu Alaikum. How are you? I'm fine. Nice to see you. Huh? What are you doing here? I'm a tourist. Okay, great. Yes. I'm going to be in the country. block. What's your name? My name is Moldin. Moldin? Yeah. Nice to meet you. My name is Jay. Okay, I'm great. from London. Nice to meet you. From London. Yes. You are from, you are from Mazar? Yeah, I'm from Mazar. Nice. I love this city. It's so beautiful. Okay, great. So and the shrine is yeah, splendid. This, this is called the Blue Mosque. 
Blue Mosque? Yeah, Blue Mosque. This it's the Shrine mosque. of Hezra Ali, right? Hezra Ali, yeah. yeah. How did you find here? In Mazar? Yeah. It's beautiful. One of yeah. my favorite places. Wouldn't have in come here. Huh? Wouldn't have you come here. I came here last night. I drove yeah. from Bamiyan. Great. Yes. How are you feeling here? Yeah. I feel great. Tomorrow though, I, I go to Do you fear from anything? No, not scared. Okay, I feel very safe. Especially yeah, in Mazar. It's, it's very different to Kabul. Yeah. Mazar and Bamiyan are very safe. Yeah. Too. Yes. In Mazar and Bamiyan, it's been beautiful. Would you like to go with me? Huh? Would you like to go with me? Where to? Yeah. In Mazo? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. I would just find my friends. Okay. Nice to meet you. No problem.